An extraordinary session of the National Assembly got off to a start this week. But the political scene here in South Korea is as heated as ever, with the nation's ruling party and its main opposition clashing over several fronts, ranging from security issues to the Itaewon crowd crush, and of course the prosecutor's office summoning up opposition leader Lee Jae-myung. For more on this, we have here in the studio our National Assembly correspondent Han Sung-woo. Sung let's start with what's happening at the assembly. So what can you tell us about the extraordinary session that just opened yesterday? Well, Chung min let me tell you, things will only get more contentious between the ruling People Power Party and its main opposition, the Democratic Party of Korea, in January moving forward. Let me begin, though, by explaining how this extraordinary session began. At the unilateral request of nearly 170 lawmakers in the Democratic Party, which is well over the required one-fourth of registered lawmakers, the National Assembly last Friday announced the beginning of a 30-day extra extraordinary session starting Monday. The party's reasoning? Handling urgent livelihood bills such as the one looking to extend a freight rate system ensuring basic wages for truckers and also further questioning the government over North Korea's recent drone incursion. North Korean drones have infiltrated the skies above our capital, even around the presidential office. But the current administration and the ruling party are refusing to be questioned on urgent affairs, too preoccupied with defending President Yoon suk yeols failures. The ruling People Power Party, however, is accusing opposition lawmakers of making parliament bulletproof in order to shield their leader Lee Jae-myung by abusing legislators' immunity from arrest while the assembly is in session. We reject the opposition's request for urgent questioning. Answering them would be leaking information. It would be the same as South Korea letting North Korea know just how we will track down and destroy the regime's drones. Right, so, and speaking of which, the main opposition party's chief, Lee Jae-myung, today showed up to the prosecutor's office, right? He did, Chung min in the Songnam branch of the Suwon District Prosecutor's Office southeast of Seoul with several fellow DP lawmakers accompanying him. And before he entered the building to be questioned, he had some strong words to say against the prosecution, claiming their accusations were fabricated. The reason today's summoning is an unprecedented act of oppression is not that it's the first time in our constitutional history that prosecutors have summoned the sitting head of a main opposition party. It's that they're committing a judiciary coup d'etat by digging up cases that have already been cleared by years of investigation. The party leaders facing allegations that he took brides from corporations via Songnam Football Club in the mid-2010s while serving as mayor of Songnam City. He's accused of doing administrative favors and providing preferential treatment for those firms in return, including relaxing architecture and development regulations. Mm -hmm. And what can you tell us more about the ongoing parliamentary probe into the Itaewon crowd crush? How's that moving along? Well, thank you for bringing that up, Chung Min, because that's another point of heated conflict between the ruling party and its opposition. And most of it centers around whether and how, how much Interior Minister Lee Sang Min, who apologized in person to bereaved families last week at the National Assembly, should be held accountable. For your apology to hold any real weight, you must follow it up with action. The first step should be your immediate resignation. It worries me that this hearing is being held not to get to the bottom of what happened on that tragic night, but rather to collect evidence in the attempt to impeach Minister Lee sang -min. Originally scheduled for this Thursday after the probe was extended 10 days last week was another heated hearing of the parliamentary probe into the tragedy. But due to discord between the rival parties, that third and final edition has been toned down to more of a public hearing where survivors, family members of those who died, and local merchants will participate. All right, Sung, we will have to see how all these plays out. Thank you for the roundup. Thank you for having me.